couple of the sluggish out the gates and been ridden at. So they say in the red silks, the first one to go, Umzum Doozy's right there, going around them as bright-eyed girl, Alphonse Baby and Badra, and then comes behind that state of mind, and Ice Imperial is between runners, there's about four lengths top to tail though, and it's bright-eyed girl going a good clip up front, on the outside Umzum Doozy, and so they say, state of mind in the blue silks has now run up into that second position, at the rail is Badra, then Alphonse Baby and Ice Imperials racing about four and a half, five lengths off the leader. Bright Eyed Girl just the leader. State of mind in the blue silk second, and then comes so they say an Umzum Doozy. Then Badra on the outside of that Alphonse Baby and Ice Imperials about five or six lengths off the leader. As they turn for home, and it's still Bright Eyed Girl the leader. On the outside, State of Mind. Down on the inside, so they say, Ice Imperial. Umzum Doozy's also trying to get into the race. Coming down to the 200, though, and Bright Eyed Girl still leads it. State of Mind, Umzum Doozy, Ice Imperial. It's wide open as they come to the last 100, so they say, State of Mind's fighting back, and Umzum Doozy on the outside. It goes to State of Mind, who won it. Close for second, Umzum Doozy, and on the inside. So they say. Number six, State of Mind. Gavin Van Zale, Carl Stratum has won both Appy races, the philanthropist, and wins it by about a half length. Number six, and it pays up 420 and the two rand. Second is very close. Nearest us is Umzum Doozy. On the inside of that one is So They Say. And further back in the run is, it looks as though it's Bright Eyed Girl. There's only about a length covering the first four. So, state of mind in the blue silks, Umzum Doozy on the outside. And on the inside of that, so they say, as they come to the last 100 metres, but the victory is for the horse in the all blue silk, state of mind, for the Nestat, Millinger and Schull, and wins it Gavin Van Zale, philanthropist, bred by Drakenstein Sud, and they win it by about a half length. The tote favourite was number three, so they say. Back to the studio. Six, four, three, and seven. Those are the numbers for race seven. Six, four, three, and seven. And Gavin Van Zell, a quiet day, but a good day for him. A fourth and a first from only two runners. But before we go any further, Mr. Juala is the gentleman who is dressed up in his Team G racing uniform, standing proud with his thousand rand. Well done to you, Mr. Juala. Enjoy the money, every cent you deserve. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, you're going to uh, have the bragging rights again. Congratulations, Carl. I don't know why the microphone doesn't want to stay there for us. But uh, well done. Good race. And uh, tell us about it. No, I must say a big thanks to Mr. Van Zell for the opportunity. He gave me perfect instruction. He said, it's very tough and the harder you fight with it, the more she actually gives you. And thankful for that because when I jumped with slow, I thought, you know, let me just let her slide along. And when she got the front, she sort of like, sort of staggered a bit, but once I really got into it, she really dug down. She won a courageous race. You know, I know you were fighting it out uh, on the sort of on the outer side of the track, but Mr. Peter's horse looked like headed both of you, and, and you guys came back at them. Am I, did I read it right? I would say he came close. I wouldn't say he headed her, but okay. when he came close, she just started, she got really she toughed it down and she snuckled down. And she gets up up and she won a big, good race. Yeah, yeah, it certainly was a good finish, and uh, well done to you. There's been two apprentice races. You've won them both. Well done, and I'm sure you're making the family and the academy and your sponsors very proud. Thank you very much. I must say a big thanks to Sanzeo once again for the opportunity, to the owners, thank you for the opportunity, to my sponsors, Ludam, and to the Ride Masters. Lovely. Thank you. Congratulations. Gav, well done. Uh, as I said, a quiet day, not in the sense of results-wise, but a quiet day, number of runners, a fourth early on, a winner now. Well done. Sterling effort. Thanks very much, Warren. Yeah, you know, this filly, uh, well done, first of all, to Larry Nestat and to Cecil and to Jeff Schill. Um, they uh, acquired her on that online sale uh, uh, last week, and uh, I accepted the next day. And so it's a, it's a nice quick return on investment for them. And uh, very well done to them. And thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. And well done to Drakenstein Stud for, for breeding her. 
And, um, yeah, it went a little bit pear-shaped at the start. She just jibbed this. As they pulled the gate, she just sort of gave a bit of a, a fly reef at the start or whatever you call fly jump. And um, I was a bit worried, you know, but um, but Kyle actually, you know, I, I said to him, she's sort of a free stride-in type of filly, and I, I said she not, doesn't really operate from holding her up and trying to finish with her. So he then let her roll, and um, as it turned out, it, uh, he rode a beautiful race one, you know, after it went wrong. So well done to young Kyle. Um, I, I think he's got a great future ahead of, ahead of him in, this, in, in the in horse racing business, and uh, I wish him well in the future. He's got a wonderful attitude. His father, Jacques, brought him up well. Well done to you, Jacques. And he's got a great uncle as an example, Pierre Stradom. So, yeah, hopefully uh, Kyle goes on to do great and wonderful things in the game, and um, I couldn't be happier for, for Larry and the boys. Great, great win for them. Gav, yeah, lovely to have... Uh yeah, Larry and uh, the, uh, Mr. Milligan, Jeff Schild, and all of them that are involved in this horse. Well, as I said, the results keep coming. The yard's firing. Well done. Thank, Thank you very much, much Warren. Lovely. Lovely. Spot on. I'm going to let go of the microphone. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Gavin Fenzel has had a quiet day, numbers-wise. Two runners, a first and a fourth. But state of mind, well, you know what's on her mind. That's just a win-win-win because she certainly got into a scrap. And she made everybody well aware that she wanted to win that race under a driving ride from Carl Stradham. One more to come. Don't stray or go away. Plenty of betting action awaits.